Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to save selections in GIMP. I'll also be showing you how to export your selections and import those selections into other compositions. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.18 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. But of course, before I get into that, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of free software tutorials on here, as well as my GIMP book of layers and help articles covering free software, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com and you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So I'll be using this free stock photo for today's tutorial. You could just click the free download button here and I went with 1920. Same with this photo here. All right, so here is my composition and I already have the selection area drawn around my subject. I did this using the foreground select tool here. I'm not going to go over the process for selecting a subject using the foreground select tool. I have an entire tutorial dedicated to that, which I'll link to this video. But once you have your selection area drawn, you might want to save your selection, especially if you've modified it a little bit, you've tweaked it to make the selection a bit more accurate, and maybe you want to import your selection into another composition at a later time. So there are a couple of methods for creating a selection. Let's go over the first method. So once you have your selection area drawn, you're going to come over here to your channels tab and then you're going to come down here and click this icon to create a new channel. That'll bring up this new channel dialog box. So here you can change the channel name. I'm just going to go with saved selection. Next you can change your color tag here much like you can with a normal layer. So I'll just give this a purple color tag. For fill opacity I'm just going to set this to zero because we don't need this to have any sort of opaqueness to it. We can have it be fully transparent. And then at the very bottom here you'll see it says initialize from selection. Check that box. So that's going to create a channel based on the selection you have here. And if you don't want this to be visible to begin with, you can uncheck the visible option. I'm just going to keep that checked and click OK. So now you'll see we have a brand new channel created. It's in the shape of our selection. It basically looks like a layer mask here. And to the left side, you have the color tag that we added. And of course, you can show or hide this. So now if I hit Control Shift A, that will deselect our selection area. Of course, I can do whatever series of actions on our photo here. I can adjust the colors, whatever. And then if I wanted to come back here and add my selection, all I have to do is make sure I'm in the channels tab and then click this little icon here that says replace the selection with this channel. And now that brings back our selection. All right, so we've saved our selection. And while we're on this method for saving our selection, I do want to show you guys how to import the selection into another composition. I actually went over this in my quick mass tutorial. So this is a bit of a review for those of you who saw that tutorial. But if you want to import this selection now into another composition such as this image, come over here and toggle the quick mask on. So you can use this little icon or use shift Q on your keyboard. And you'll see while we're in our channels tab, this does create a new channel called quick mask. If you wanted to save this quick mask as a channel, let's say you use the quick mask tool in order to draw your selection area. All you have to do is come over here and duplicate this. Now you've got a copy and then you can double click on this and rename it whatever you want. So I'll name it saved selection two. hit the enter key. But clicking back on the quick mask channel here, the original one, I'll start by hitting control C to copy the quick mask selection. We'll come over to our other composition, shift Q to toggle that quick mask on and then control V. That is going to paste that quick mask area we drew on our other composition that we copied. And then if I hit shift Q again to toggle that off, now you'll see we have a selection here and we can come back to the layers panel and do whatever we want with this selection. We can right click, add layer mask, initialize layer mask to selection, click add. Now we have a layer mask in the shape of that selection. I'll hit control Z. I can also of course come back to the channels, click to create a new channel, initialize from selection, click OK. And now we've saved that selection over here in our other composition. So let's come back to the original composition we were working on. Shift Q, that is going to toggle the quick mask off. Remember we created a save selection here based on our quick mask before. Let's just exit out of that. We don't need that. 
So this little X will delete that. Let's move on to the second method for saving a selection in GIMP. And you guys have seen this in a lot of my other tutorials. That's going to be using the paths dialog. So if I come over here to the paths tab, all we have to do is come down here and click on this little icon selection to path. That will automatically create a path from our selection. If I hit control shift A to deselect that, and then come over here and unhide this, you'll see now we have a path that outlines our model here. And I could come over here and click on the paths tool and click on this path and you'll see all the nodes that are created here automatically. So I could hold control, zoom in and adjust these little nodes if I wanted to. That allows me to refine my path. And once I've refined it, I can either use the tool options while I have my paths tool selected and click selection from path. That will draw my selection again. You could see the marching ants going around here. Or if I hit control shift A to deselect that, I can also just come down here and click on this little icon here, path to selection. That will do the same thing. Of course, if I wanted to, I could double click on this and rename this saved selection path just to make it different. And the cool thing about this method is I can now export this path so I can right click export path. And I'll just name this girl outline with hat. You do want to end this with .svg. That's the file extension that GIMP uses to export and import paths. Oh, this is supposed to be outlined with hat, not with hate. So now we'll come over here, click save. And then if we wanted to come over to our other composition or any other composition, let's hit control shift A to deselect that selection area. So over here in our paths tab, I can right click and go to import path. So here is our girl outline with hat. So if I click on that and click open, and then I unhide this path, you'll see now we have a path in the shape of our selection area. Of course, I can use my paths tool to click on this to select it. There's all the nodes. And of course, if I wanted to move this, I could change this to move and I can move this around here. Some of the nodes don't transfer for some reason in this case. I could also grab a transform tool. So if I come over here and click and hold, you could see we have the scale tool here. So I'll click on that. And if I change the transform mode here to path, I can then click on my path and I can scale this down to whatever I wanted to. Hit the scale button and there we go. Once you've scaled this to the size you want, of course you can now come over here to the paths tab and click on this icon here to add the path to a selection. And now our selection is back over here in our other composition. And I'll come over here and hide the path. And there, once again, we have our selection back in our other composition. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you can check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.